Hello everyone, Rex here and welcome to Let's Play Sly Cooper Thieves in Time. This is the fourth Sly Cooper game in the series. I've of course completed the first three on my channel already in the past. So you can check those out if you want. We're gonna go ahead and jump in now. This is actually not developed by the same developer as the original three. But uh, I'm still excited to play it. I haven't actually beaten this game before myself. I have played it before. Um... But this will be my first time beating it, and I am planning to go for 100% here. So, uh, hopefully that should be good. Uh, let's go ahead and go for the full story here. Uh, one thing I did notice is that the loading screens are pretty bad. So, I'll try to cut those out during editing. I should probably just start at the beginning. The name Sly. Sly Cooper and I'm a thief, from a long line of thieves. In fact, thieving is the family business, and business was good. Although, until recently, I considered myself retired. Having hung up my mask and cane, I was enjoying life on the other side of the law. In the company of a certain lovely Interpol agent named Carmelita Fox. She and I had a history, which generally involved her trying to lock me up. So, I should mention our current situation was only possible because she thought I had amnesia. I didn't. It was great to finally enjoy each other's company without a shock pistol being involved, and we quickly put the past behind us. But as time went on, the old itch came back, and I knew I needed to pull a heist. I should also mention that as a master thief, I only steal from other thieves. So it took me a while, but I finally found what I was looking for. My target was an upstart art mogul, a real hotshot collector. He seemed respectable, had even opened a new museum. But I could smell a rat. Reliable sources told me he was dealing in black market antiques worth millions. So I felt he should share the wealth. I was working on a plan when one night, as if on cue, Bentley showed up. Bentley was the brains of our operation, the mastermind. We grew up in the same orphanage where we bonded over stealing cookies, our very first heist. And we've been best friends and partners ever since. We hadn't seen each other for a while, but I knew immediately that something was up. Bentley had been enjoying his time off too, building a new lab from scratch with his girlfriend and fellow tech whiz, Penelope. She had joined the team on our last caper, and the two of them had really hit it off. Apparently, they just finished work on a top secret project when Penelope had simply vanished. Bentley was worried sick. He searched frantically, but found nothing. Then, he noticed something that completely stunned him. In his spare time, Bentley had been researching the Thievius Raccoonus, the Master Thieves' handbook passed down through the Cooper family for generations. Its pages overflowing with the exploits and secret techniques of my esteemed ancestors. Only now, those pages weren't so full. In fact, they were disappearing right before Bentley's eyes. Realizing there was no time to waste, he gathered his gear and raced off to Paris. The first thing Bentley did was track down Murray, the third in our trio. Murray was our enforcer, the muscle, and the guy who'd eaten all the cookies we stole back in our orphanage days. Through the years, the three of us had become an unbeatable team, and we were more like a family now than a gang. Murray had been living his dream on the pro driving circuit, where his van had become famous, or rather infamous, for all the crashes he'd caused. Eventually, he was unable to find a sponsor due to his high insurance premiums, and he moved into Demolition Derby, where he remained undefeated. When Bentley showed up, however, Murray dropped everything to help out especially when Bentley explained that his van was the key to the whole plan. 
With Carmelita distracted by a new assignment, I took the opportunity to slip away and met up with the guys at our old Paris hideout. Bentley launched into one of his elaborate presentations, and I saw the whole scary picture. Someone or something was literally erasing Cooper history. Then, to our amazement, Bentley revealed that he already had the solution, time travel. It turns out his top secret project was constructing a time machine. And now he modified the design to fit into Murray's van. We were going to travel back in time, stop those responsible, and fix the damage they'd done. Bentley explained the only catch was that in order to travel to a particular time, the machine required an object from that era. We knew from the changes to the Thievius Raccoonus that our first stop was feudal Japan. So here we were, about to steal a priceless 17th century samurai dagger from the same museum I'd been casing. Funny how things work out sometimes. So there we go, we uh, have our opening story here. It's gonna be a time travel story, which is pretty cool. You get to explore a lot of different time eras in history, which I definitely do like, I, I do like that. And time travel is a good way to pull it off. Now, one thing I did mention is, of course, there's a different developer now, and you could notice that, I feel, okay. in the art style. You both remember the plan, right? Of course! My mind is like a steel cap! Uh, that's trap, big guy. And everybody relax. We've been over it a million times. What could possibly go wrong? Play those last words. Look, we're only gonna get one shot at this, so we can't mess up. All right, no messing up allowed. Now stop worrying. This is gonna be a piece of cake. I'll see you both inside. Now let's get going. <laughs> Um, but yeah, as we were saying, I feel like you can notice it in the art style. I feel like the characters here are drawn more beautifully. Um, and I don't mean that in visually they look nicer, but rather... Um, like Penelope, for example, she looks like a lot more like sexy slash attractive rather than the nerdy mouse type. Uh, Murray looks a lot more brawny and muscly than he did in the past, I feel. So... That's just an interesting thing. Um, okay, one thing I'm noticing immediately is... Eh. Whoa! Right, don't get seen by any spotlights. I don't have to mention you Why? Don't forget you can double jump. Just jump, then press the X button again while you're still in the air. Right. Just another one of my many talents. Yep. We can uh, double jump, of course, regular jump, because this is a 3D platformer. Um and I guess we're just gonna follow this path here. Destroy some things for some coins that will probably allow us to buy some upgrades. I forgot if that's in this game or not, but it has been in the past too. So I'm assuming they are probably going to be pretty useful for that. So might as well try to start collecting some more stuff. And uh, I like how our minimap does have uh, markers. You can move the camera around using the right stick. Camera. Excellent. There we go. It's perfect for peeking around corners. Yeah, I just uh, switched it a Perhaps little bit already. So yeah, we can uh, That's how I pull jump on the blue sparkly thing. Oh, uh, we were spotted. I wasn't really paying attention to that. Um, but yeah, we can't get busted by those, so. We can jump on things here, of course. But we need to make sure that we time it right so we don't get busted by that spot. And uh, we should be good if we stand on here. And then we can just uh, walk across the rope. So, slice movement is still there, still feels good. I'm happy with that. And there's the others. Was truck surfing part of Murray's entrance strategy? Of course not. Murray's approach route is through the back alleys. Why do you ask? 
Uh, no reason. Anyway, yeah. it looks like he's in position now. No reason. Murray is just deviating from the plan slightly. Not a problem, Bentley. A good thing prefers to stay above the action anyway. Um, I also feel like there definitely like should the be subtitles. I don't know, subtitles should be on. I just checked the options again, but yeah, we'll, we'll just deal with it as it goes on. Um, okay, so we can display the map, which uh, lets us get a nice overview. A lot of red circles. Those are probably enemies, if I had to guess. And the X, of course, is our target. So that's pretty interesting. You have a much more of a map now that wasn't present in previous games. Uh, we'll see how much we use that, though. Let's go ahead and sneak around the ledge now. Oh, hey, Murray. Oh, sorry. Security is getting tougher, Sly. Steer clear of the guards and lights. Avoid sprinting around the guards, too. They'll hear your footsteps. I'll be a ghost, I promise. Okay, so we can't even sprint sure when we're around guards, business. or we'll get caught. I really wish that there were subtitles for a lot more stuff than there is, though. I feel like there should just be general subtitles, but there don't appear to be any, and that's a bit of a shame. So, I'll try to at least be quiet for the more important dialogue, but yeah, sometimes I might comment over it. Eh, uh, not too close if we didn't get caught, in my opinion. Let's go ahead and get some more coins here. We're already up to like 120. That's not bad at all. Um, I'm guessing we can climb this. See, I told you it would be a piece of cake. Hi, rats. Uh oh. I'm a little out of practice. You say something, Sly? Uh, no. All good here, Bentley. Okay. It looks like you're going to have to find another way up. Use that ledge to move around to the front of the museum and stay out of that security light. I think I can handle that. We're a monster thief for no reason. Surely we can. There's that enemy there. I'm gonna just ignore him. Because I'm not sure if they want me to be like completely stealthy or if it's okay to like kill enemies. I'll take the safe route and just not attack enemies at all right now. Let's uh, grab onto this here and uh, climb our way up. Wait. Oh, it didn't really do what I thought it would do. That, that's okay, that's okay. I thought we would land on this now and then grab this. There we go. That's what I tried to do. Press L3 to display the compass and the current objective. Um, I was doing that. Don't really see how it's doing that, but sure. I guess we're gonna have to go up here now and pass sure this. Like spent a on this place. Let's grab some more coins here. Uh, okay, so I guess we're gonna move our way on now. Uh, yeah, let's run past that. Dodge the skylights and keep going on. Uh, now there are enemies. Oh, so pickpocketing. Cool. You still have pickpocketing in the game. I really enjoy pickpocketing. I think it's a lot of fun to do. So we got a museum skylight. And cool, we still have our stealth slam. Uh, I love that move. So I guess we can unlock the skylight now. I'll grab some coins real quick before we do that. But uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and interact. I do have to say I love the visual style of this game though. I think it is a nice upgrade from the previous while still keeping the... Okay, Bentley, I'm in place. Let me know when you shut down the security system. Patience, Sly. You can't rush greatness, and I'm about to code a hacking masterpiece. Like, it still keeps the Sly style intact, I feel. The idea behind the Sly style. But it uh, does look nice, regardless. Sewers, I was just a teenager. 
So now we are gonna I move over to Bentley, of course, of who uh, just moves very differently, is a blast. lot more about the gadgets and everything, than uh, Sly, who's all about the sneaking and the stealth. Uh, what's true there? Can we not get true there? Hmm. Or maybe we can actually blow this up. Let's see. No, can we not blow this up? No, apparently not. Okay. So I guess we're just gonna Those jump across. And uh, we need to reach the control room. So we'll keep making our way across here. There might be some hidden things though. I wanna keep a lookout because like I've noticed that there's a lot of alternate pots here, but I guess all of that is just blocked off. So nothing we can do anything with. So in that case, we'll just uh, make that's a move a on, uh, and we can double jump. Oh, that's not a proper jump double jump. Wow. Okay, that glide. just Thank barely worked out. I thought we were dead for sure there for a moment, but no, that just barely fit. Great, that platform is blocked. Uh, oh right, we can throw bombs. Up. It's cool. I press and hold the L1, that's a direct hit. I still gotta get if used I to Bentley's jumping here. It feels a little a bit shell. weird, the timing. I guess it's something that we will get used to as we play along. Well, oh, hey, we found a slime mask. Collect secret slime masks throughout the game to earn special unlockable items. Would you go, like to go to the unlockables menu? No. I won't do that right now, but there's 60 of them to get in the game. We'll uh, be going for all of them. I don't know where all of them are because uh, most of this game I'll, I will be playing for the first time. Yeah, I definitely need to get used to Sly's jumps or Bentley's jumps. They feel very different from the previous games. The second hover takes a lot longer, but you want to start it much later, which is interesting. Um, but yeah, I'll try to get all of them while playing through it blind. So we'll see how well I do. I might look up like how many are in each like area. So I can at least know if I got all of the ones in an area before we move on. But uh, yeah, mm, we'll, we'll, we'll just see how things go here. Let's uh, right blow this up. And voila, instant shortcut. Did we get, why did those coins not get to my body? I really do want magnet power-ups that just pull coins in. Those are so useful. Ooh, that was close. Phew! Talk about your close shaves! How's that security system coming, Bentley? Uh, great! Perfect! I'll be done in a jiffy! Yeah, might take a little bit still. Uh... Sly? Okay, yeah, we already know how to open the map. No need to say it again. Uh, we gotta shut down the security system, so we're gonna jump across that. Yeah, definitely Next need to I'm hold off on job. when I, um, when I start my second jump. No, because I want to start it much quicker than you should, and that's not really doing me any favors. Okay, let's do some hacking. Ooh, okay, hacking. Oh, this is the twin stick shooter section. Oh yeah, I like these hacking sections. I think they're fun to do. So, uh, let's see how it goes. This first section had no enemies at all. That was easy. And now there is the firewall, but that is relatively easy to just destroy. It doesn't attack you at all. And we can keep going on. Next up, there's of course going to be those uh, yellow keys that we need to gather to then put them in the right. I can use this spots. Key to disable that firewall. Disables the laser and we can move on. So they basically teach you the basics here. And we're here, we can't break those, oh, yeah, but we act like right this, and now we have the big guns. This is definitely new. There definitely weren't any, um, like, 
tanks in the first game. So this definitely feels new, but I don't mind it. it it's pretty cool. You move a lot slower, but you're a lot more powerful. So it's definitely... Um, oh, I didn't grab it? I thought I grabbed that. Um, oh, you can only grab the data key in your normal form. Gotcha. Let's see if we can just destroy all of those. We can. Then we can simply switch back over. Grab the data key now. Unlock it. And then we can go through. So cool. Basically, teach you all about... You need to know about hacking in this first hack. Which is basically more of a tutorial, really. And that's the way the code base crumbles. Okay, Murray. You're up. The Murray is always on, Bentley! And here we have the Brawn. So Murray is all about combat. No okay, stealth, no tricky gadgets, just punching, punching, punching. He is all about just straight up running at the enemies and absolutely destroying them with several punches or other uh, moves. For example, we can do a spin attack like that. And yeah, he's not gonna like try to sneak around enemies or uh, try to use gadgets to take them out from distance. No, we're just gonna run straight up into their faces and um, thunder flap. Oh, it's triangle after jumping? That feels a bit weird. I would have expected something like jump in a circle, not triangle, but that's okay. We're just gonna keep going here, thunder flapping over these guys as we go through it. We gotta take all of you guys out here. They'll shoot at us and do some damage here or there, but I'm honestly not too worried. Murray can take the hits. It barely damages him, really. you come from shortstop <laughs> yeah I don't want any of you short stuff on me get out of here little rats So there we go. Uh, we gotta take out two of these. So we can stomp near an object, and then we can throw it into this, break it, and then there should be another one right over here. Okay, Sly, the security system is down. You're all clear. Great, I'm going in. All right, let's go ahead and steal it. Place your card, of course. You didn't really think you were going to get away with it, did you, Ringtail? Hello, Carmelita. Hey, Carmelita. Oh, funny meeting you here. Sly Cooper, you no good lying thief. I'm locking you up for good. Sorry, got to take a rain check. I'll call you. Cooper! Good evening, this is Sly Cooper. I'd like to request a ride. You, Sly. Now quit messing around and get down here. We're in the van. It's ready to roll. Au revoir. Let's hit it. Buckle up, boys! Oh, yeah! Just like in a there we go. We got our item stolen, which we needed. And uh, now we're going to go for a nice little escape right here. Just breaking through everything in our path. We don't really seem to care. Relax, Sly. 
Just put the dagger in the receptacle. Perfect. Isotopic decay calibrated. Adjusting fusion synthesis. Anytime you want to punch it, Murray. Well, let's go and punch it. You got it, chum. Do not slow down, Murray. I never do. Whoa. Sly Cooper, Thieves in Time. Man, am I excited for this Let's Play. And I hope you guys are too. Well, what else can I say about Carmelita? As you can see, our relationship is complicated. And I just succeeded in upgrading it to hazardous. I certainly wasn't expecting her to crash the party. She'd been so busy with her latest case, I never thought she'd have her eye on me. In fact, I'd kind of been counting on it. But then, I should have known better than to underestimate Inspector Carmelita Fox. As much as she liked having fun, Carmelita was serious about her police work. And now, I had a lot of explaining to do. But the plan was in motion, and there was no stopping now. Even though I was thinking I'd need the time machine just to patch things up with Carmelita. Before the heist, we'd recruited our disco-loving, scuba-diving friend, Dimitri Listo to look after the Thievius Raccoonus. Because it was irreplaceable and the only guide we had, it was far too risky to take the book through time with us. Bentley had even invented a communication device to allow us to contact Dimitri no matter where or when we travel. It was a perfect situation, since it allowed him to update us on any changes to the book while limiting our exposure to his fashion critiques. Everything was happening so fast. The past few days were just a blur. But as we howled through the time vortex, I realized we were in for a very long trip. But I think that's a pretty good point to end this first episode. So thank you guys very much for watching. If you're excited for this Let's Play and you want to keep following it, then subscribe to my channel down below. 